Hello everyone and welcome back to my JNSQ series in Kerbal Space Program 1.7.3. In this episode we need to rescue Jeb from the surface of the moon because he can't actually EVA from the pod he's in to the pod he needs to be in in moon orbit. So the easiest thing to do is to land a pod on the surface of the moon where he currently is with ladder rungs and also mod propellant in and have Jeb go to that pod, climb in and then use that pod and its mod propellant to uh, get to the pod that he needs to be in to come back home. Now, we don't have ladder rungs <laughs> is the thing, and without EVA propellant, uh, he cannot actually get into any pod. Um, presumably, I haven't tried climbing or anything like that, but uh, yeah, we might try that, but only after we deliver the rescue pod because um, on Jeb's own, he doesn't have that much food, water, and oxygen, right? So we don't want to... Uh, it's better if he stays in the pod with the 30 days worth there. So anyway, but we need to unlock ladder rungs, and we don't have quite enough science yet, so we needed to launch a science mission. And I looked at what... because we don't want to take too much time, so we can't really send it to the moon or Minmus, because that takes a lot of the time we could be using to rescue Jeb. So I needed some science that we could do quickly around Kerbin that we had not done before. At least I'm hoping that we can do something like that. And we've got some things that we have never launched before. Uh, first of all, the Dorian Reconnaissance System, which is 4.5 tons. And I'm really hoping that um, this sends some good science back. I'm not sure. Uh, it's it better be worth it, 4.5 tons. Uh, the other thing is uh, we never launched a science junior, so we've got this bell version of the materials bay and we've got on a heat shield and everything, so that's a heat shield. Oh, I need to add a decoupler, don't I? Ah, I forget about that because in realism overhaul you don't need a de separate decoupler between the, the heat, sh uh, between the procedural fairings and all. But anyway, um, so we've got RCS ports and uh, parachute landing system and so this will this will all come back with the science junior stuff and we've never done a science junior in orbit before uh, so yeah we've got big antennas so that it can transmit the the information quickly from the reconnaissance system uh, we've got additional science here a solar experiment package I don't know about and then this uh, a film camera, which probably we've already done, but it has the same mass as the as the solar experiment package, so I decided I might as well plop it on to balance things out. I mean, it adds more cost, though. Come on. Okay. So then we have the um, Badal engine that I introduced last time here, and then this stage here. I'm using this uh, uh, I Inon inner stage, hopefully that's okay, we'll see. And then uh, two vulture engines here, with the mount there. And then we've got a Bobcat engine here, and then the Prometheus boosters there, thrall down just a little bit. So, I've called this Dorian 1, naming it after the reconnaissance system. Things could go wrong, we'll see. Let's just get on with it. And find out. It's pretty expensive though. It is pretty expensive. Um, yeah, we'll just proceed. Okay, so throttle up, SAS is on. And it doesn't really matter. I mean, I guess a polar orbit would be better. Yeah, okay, let's let's go ahead and go for a polar orbit instead. Yeah, we haven't done anything with the poles, I don't think. Chance that uh, we'll get some good images and everything. Okay, uh, ignition and launch. So heading zero for now. Roll wise, it's not the nicest thing. I put these uh, Separatron bottles on here, but they are sort of sticky outy. They're not the mo nicest Separatrons I've ever had. Okay, that's better. Unlike Titan, we're lighting the core engines. Oh, that's a little bit... Okay. Uh, 
core engine at the same time as the boosters to uh, lighten up the core stage, because otherwise it won't have enough thrust to weight ratio. Otherwise, this is very titany. Except the payload is really huge. Okay, separate. All right, good enough. The next stage should start out with a thrust to weight, weight ratio of one, so that's not a problem. I wonder about this decoupler though, I hope it works right. Depends on where its colliders are. Okay, separation and ignition, that's okay. And let's do a little bit more correction to get really polar with this. Before I forget and we... There's a chance that going polar we won't have the... Comsats in a good position. So let's just do what we can right now. Well, let's start this photographic data. I, I doubt they can run the experiments in the fairing, but hey. Ah. Oh, that. Oh, it's duplicating Dorian. Oh well. Uh, no storage space. Gosh darn it. Well, eventually. I hope the this Dorian thing is worth it. I should have increased the storage space on the core, too. We're at 77.7, .7, we need 90. We should be transmitting pretty quickly, I mean, it says 40.12 kilobytes per second. And we've got, you know, four of these dishes that each should be able to do that, but... Okay. Separation and ignition. If we get in, we if we lose uh, communication and then accidentally get into a higher orbit, that's not a huge problem. Um, the fact that this doesn't seem to be controlling pitch very quickly is a huge problem. This is not gimbal; it has a gimbal. Hmm. Gonna kick off that fairing there. Let's do the goo. Oh, okay, it's, it's starting up, I think. Alright, it's running. Oh, this engine is taking way longer than I thought it would. We did put a high quality one on it, so... It has long potential time, too, but... It's not ideal. We're running out of electric charge, too. Let's uh, stop transmitting for now. Uh, I'll turn on the RCS. It's getting... Oh, we're out of electric charge now. Okay, I'm gonna stop that experiment. I don't know if any of these experiments... makes the difference here. We gotta run the materials bay though. Okay, engine shut down. I can try sun down. Okay, that'll get us recharging. We're barely out of the atmosphere though. Something's taking up a lot of electric charge. We're not even transmitting the data right now. Well, we will try. Want the data. We haven't gotten much. Put what I thought was a fair amount of battery on here, but apparently not. The... What you call it? 
Dorian's controllers down here by the engine. So we've gotten the material study done. I'm gonna deploy the chute. Decouple this. Oh, this doesn't have a signal right now. Well, wherever it gets signal. I hope it didn't knock this thing too far down. No, actually that's alright. This actually has a periapsis in the atmosphere. Well, this only has the internal antenna on the core, so we're going to have to wait a little bit. Oh, it doesn't have much battery because, oh, it never recharged. Uh-oh. Well, at least I prepared the parachute. <laughs> okay, well now we've got communication. Okay, surface. Uh, actually, positive. Execute RCS. And we need to deorbit quickly. Okay, and then surface negative. All right, so that's armed and everything. So if we lose uh, power, it shouldn't be a problem. All right. Okay. It's always disconcerting to me that the flame effect seems to see the thing behind the heat shield that I don't like. And it's also heating up too. That's not good either. Uh, I hope it got the other information. Uh-oh. It did the materials bay thing and it was full. But now it says no storage space. I hope we've got the previous one. Well, connection timed out. I guess we don't know right now. I don't understand how the materials bays, material bays work in Kerbalism yet, really. Or the mystery goo, necessarily. It's all sort of a mystery to me. We're actually not out of power yet. But we're out of communication. There's a parachute. Now, in the weirdness of things, this might actually try and sink if this is water. And it is. It probably is. It's sea level. They're getting ready to spam the... Recover key, recover, recover, recover. Oh, we already went down. We'll have to recover from the tracking station. I sort of wonder if it could jet up, but we don't really have communication right now anyway. Use its RCS to push it to the surface. Okay, splash down at Kerbin, recover, recover. Um, no science. Well, no, it says science recovered 10.8 uh, credits. Okay, so it did get the science back. Okay. Let me uh, verify that. Okay, yes. So we just need, what is it, 1.3 science left. So let's follow what the Dorian is doing. Okay, is this still running? It's still running. Total science transmitted 0.1 credits. Okay, so it says here. Yeah, that's not great. Let's see if we can do science on the pad. That time has come. Okay, so let's say just a probe core and um, materials bay. And power. Definitely power. And solar panels, because it takes a while to do the materials bay now. Okay, well, looks like we can. Yeah, it's running. But there's not the best time for it. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Okay, running. Okay, it's waiting. Should be good. Let's recover. It's times like these that you save the pad signs for. 
Okay, there we go. We got the 90 science. So let's make sure we get the right science. Uh, it is not in landing. Got landing legs and everything. It's in space exploration. Yes. Pegasus mobility enhancers. Whole bunch of other stuff, but that's not what we care about right now. Maybe some science though. We gotta get some more science. Anyway. We got our mobility enhancers, and we now have access to water recyclers in the pod and float in crew experiments. Hmm. Water recyclers. Water recyclers may be good, but anyway, let's uh, take a look at the pod. Okay, so somebody suggested removing the main engine that we had before and just going with the ants, and that would make a lower profile. That works. I replaced the center engine with another ant engine, uh, just for redundancy. And so, yeah, even if the one engine fails, we could shut off the opposite side engine and it should still be able to do everything. So, but they all already have the high quality engine status. We have the ladder rungs here and uh, we I've set the landing legs higher because we don't have that big engine anymore. Uh, Kerbal should be able to grab those ladder rungs there, hopefully, maybe. We, sh we may have time for a second attempt if one attempt fails. I put five mob propellant in here, and uh, there should be no reason for it to go anywhere else. Thank you very much. And uh, reduce the amount of nitrogen, oxygen, water, and food that we're carrying because this is the rescue mission. The point of having the 30 days there was to allow for a rescue mission. Uh, so we don't need quite as much, but I decided not to... Uh, remove it completely. We have about 12 days worth now. So, and nitrogen is off the scales. Um, same comms. Uh, I don't know if we needed better power or not. I might uh, put some extra battery on here just because the last thing we did, we were short. So. Uh, looks like we don't have one of the circular batteries though. That sucks. Okay. Well, then we'll just put some down here. Everything else is the same. We've reduced mass in some respects by reducing the food, water, and oxygen and uh, removing that bigger engine. Then we've added mop propellant. That made it heavier. I don't know. Uh, we have to make a pinpoint landing this time. So that's an issue. Well, we'll have to see. We may have a chance to make a second attempt afterwards. Make sure there's no Kerbal in. Okay, here we go. SAS on. Throttle is up. And... Ignition. And launch. And standard rotation. Okay, looking good. If a little steep. Okay, booster set. Off they go. Actually, it is too shallow, it looks like. Alright, separation and ignition. And explosion. Alright, must remember that this is all automated right now, so let's extend stuff. Okay, that's good enough. 103 by 89. And let's go to the moon. Uh, that doesn't seem to work. Yeah, we'll just run the engines on the mid course adjustment. Doesn't even show our communicate. Oh, there it is. We're communicating through NeedSat 2A and should still be doing so during the maneuver. Okay. Okay, here we go. And ignition. Okay, that's probably too far. I will mid-course adjust that. Oh, we went retrograde. That's not what we need, but it actually doesn't matter at this point. Uh, I would feel better if we were on the other side. That seems more or less in line and equatorial and everything. Okay. Ignition. Okay, point three, that should be good enough. 
Oops. Uh, well, okay. We may need a little bit more. Up uh, there. Extra ignition, but we've got 13 left on these. Okay, back to sundown. Okay, we are coming in. We should have communications at periapsis. And the landing pod seems to be on the side facing Kerbin still. That's good for communications during landing. Looks like a good situation to land on the next orbit. Not after that though, then it's gonna go on the other side. It's fairly okay here. We don't wait we don't want to wait too long. Okay, orbit retrograde. And ignition. Okay, that's good enough. 38 by 27. And then we'll use this stage to start off descent. Alright, so we've got our target. Okay, there we go. Um, Alright. So we'll keep an eye on that. But we do have to go around once. Put a temporary maneuver over the target to see how much time we have left. How many ignitions do we have? 12? Well, we'll do an initial descent burn here then. Okay. So we've got our descent trajectory here. Okie dokie. Surface negative. And let's fire that up again. I'm looking at the target difference now. Oh, one engine failed. That's fine, actually. I want about 10 kilometers lead. So I'm going to leave 10 kilometers there. Okay, uh, that's more than I wanted. I mean, closer than I wanted. It looks like we're too far south. So one more ignition to try and correct that. That doesn't seem to be doing enough. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, uh, that'll be better. Alright, we can separate off the stage now. Okay, landing gear down. I think we're more or less in line, so no yaw now. Our stage time is 5 minutes and 9 seconds, so we only need about half of the stage to land, so I think we can do it in 3 minutes. You can sort of see why I wanted more lead time, and that's so that I can decelerate at this point. Now we have to pitch up. If we had more lead, uh, more lead time, if the blue marker was further along, then we wouldn't have to pitch up so much. We still want to overshoot a bit so that we can sort of come straight down when necessary. I don't want target. I want surface. Okay, I'm gonna switch to SAS now. Okay, looking good. Target difference really minimal now. No, we want to keep going this way. Oh, we're going up. Oh, shoot. That changes things quite a lot if you're going up. Okay, let's just shut down and wait for like a suicide burn sort of situation here. I sort of overdid it. 
I could get closer, but it's fine. We'll just land here. A bit far, but, you know, better than wasting fuel trying to correct that. Okay. All right, we're on the ground. Now, Jeb, let's hope we've done this right. Yeah, he's only got oxygen in here. That's why we don't want to uh, accidentally leave him outside. Let me, let's make sure he uh, takes data. Surface sample and EV report are apparently done. So could he have, let's see, climb, climb. Uh, well, that would have been a bit haphazard, but possibly if we kept, we've done, I've done this before. Uh, uh, this sort of horrible thing, but, uh, uh, uh. okay, he's jumped. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, uh, he's going to knock over the pod anyway. All right. So there, there was a possibility there, but let's just not belabor the point. Where the heck is the other one? There it is. But we have to plant a flag first, so let's plant a flag. Oh, so we can do it. That's good. I was worried that we hadn't unlocked that yet. Okay. Jeb on the moon. Um... Finally get to do this thing. Yep, had to wait a while. I mean... Actually, he could jump pretty high. Jumping is a doable thing. But anyway, this is good practice. Important piece of information was obtained. We can rescue a Kerbal from the surface of the moon. This is good. I might be speaking too soon. Let me <laughs> hold off on that. Okay, grab. Up, 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 up. And board. Oh god, he didn't board. Come on. There we go. All right. Data has been transferred. We have mod propellant. That's important. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able. To, we still wouldn't be able to transfer to the other pod. And it is going eastward. So go. Uh, yeah, this way. Oh, we got some inclination there. Let's wait for apoapsis. Actually, I should have waited for longer because, um, yeah. We were going to be in the lower orbits anyway. Okay, let's see what we've got now. 280 meters per second. Got the beginnings of uh, encounter there. We just need to correct inclination at the descending node and that should work for us. So, okay. Okay, so sun down, please. Make sure we are recharging. Get rid of that node. So uh, next we'll have a correction at this descending node. Don't want a time warp to the descending node, though. Let's be careful. Well, that'll be within render range, 35 meters per second of relative velocity. Coronal mass ejection. Well, we're going to be on the opposite side of the moon from the sun, so that's handy. 
230 meters per second available, so we have enough. Unfortunately, when we get to the sunlit side, we're not going to have a whole lot of options as far as our the way we point. We're going to need to do things at that point. Okay, that should be good enough. Indeed. Um, okay, target negative relative velocity. Well, now we can't block the sun's way. Render range and ignition. Tough to see the orientation of the pod though. Okay, alright. Uh, that should be good enough. Okay, Jeb, EVA please. Just in case, take all the data. Alright. He has the mod propellant. Very important. No, 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 down. Down further. Okay, grab. Board. All right, back in the pod. All right, well, things are looking up here. Okay, I've plotted our exit burn. It's going to take 350 meters per second, which we have. Okay, node. Very nimble little guy. Oh, I can't see the node information. All right. And go. Whoa, it's actually compressing into the thing. That's not good. Don't do that. I was using physical time warp and it was actually moving into the pod. Hmm. Okay, that's as planned. And our carbon periapsis is just a little bit higher than I wanted. I'm going for 26.8. Okay, back to our sun orientation. And we are departing the moon finally with Jeb. It looks like it got the planet flag on the moon thing done. Well, it's all rescue contracts right now. Okay, Turbin is approaching. Radiation belt. How is Jeb's radiation now? Info. 11% radiation. But again, we had no shielding, so. Double check that's the right decoupler. The other things probably don't need to decouple. Oh, we got that spare decoupler on here still. Shoot. Okay. Well, anyway. Um, surface, no. Normal. Um, I don't want to do it too early, otherwise we won't have electric charge, but it'll be okay, I think. All right. Separation. This decoupler stack separator can just go off. That's not relevant. We've still got the heat shield, make sure of that. Okay, we don't need to keep the antennae out. Okay, here we go. Coming in fast. Service module explosions. Okay. 
I mean, technically, Gemini should pop off at least the nose cap, but anyway, we're bringing everything back down. That nose cap costs a lot, after all. We might as well recover it. Hi, G forces. Well, one out of two tourists can deal with it. Surely Jeb can. Alright, we're through the worst of it. I don't know, it's really bright. I, is it all cloud? I think it's all cloud. We're over water. Well, I'll dump the mob repellent. Okay, parachute has been deployed. I really shouldn't have time warped through that, but okay. It worked. No, if I turn the camera, it looks different. Here it's all white. Is that a layer that we we're gonna pass through? It's just being weird. I think it's just being weird. Now, let's get the actual view instead of the weird whiteness. I don't know why it's doing that. Ooh, stuttery. Still. I don't know. I don't know why. Okay, we've splashed down and recover. Okay, uh, we got a surface sample. We didn't get the EVA report or... I don't know why we didn't get the EVA report. Maybe that got transmitted already. Anyway, we got the surface sample. And of course, the important thing is we got Jeb back. Zero funds from recovered parts because we were so far away, I guess. I don't know. I, I don't think that's legit. Um, well, whatever. Anyway, can't complain. So Jeb got five experience and probably more ribbons. <laughs> lots, lots more ribbons. Uh, moon EVA, moon orbital EVA, uh, first landing on the moon, first moon surface EVA. Okay, all the things. In fact, even a solid fuel booster ribbon. All right. With that, with recovering Jeb, I think that's a solid episode. We'll just move on to other things next time. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.